It's good to realise at this stage that when you point your skis down the hill at the start of your turn, you're going to pick up speed. That's always going to happen. You can't change that. What you can change is the fact that you're turning gradually, nice and smooth, up the hill before you start. So you're going to feel happy with your speed, then you can start the next one. A lot of people do a bad turn. They think that was a rubbish turn, but in fact it was a turn before didn't control their speed enough. So make sure you get that brake, then you can start your next one. Down here, I want to make sure that I've finished off the turn before I start the next one. That way, I'll start the next turn confident and in control. The turns will have a nice rounded shape with no sudden movements. Okay, so you should be starting to feel a really nice smooth blend between the turns. Nothing's forced, nothing's rushed, just linking them together as smooth as you can. Perfect, let's keep going. Stand on the top ski whilst rolling the edge over and let the skis come round naturally. Use a round S-shaped turn to control your speed and keep practicing on runs you feel comfortable on. I hope you found that useful. Now you should be feeling the skis staying parallel right the way from the beginning of the turn all the way through to the end. Remember, if something's not working, go back a step and look at the basics. Next time we're going to be using some edging to feel some control and the shape of the ski to help you turn. We're going to find some more challenging terrain and then finally looking at the line choice. See you next time.